Okay, let's talk about uh, system modeling. This is in section 1.8 of your textbook. And uh, we'll be discussing how to model the various systems we work with uh, mathematically. Um, in uh, this section, we'll concentrate on uh, continuous time systems. Um, and we'll model those almost exclusively using uh, differential equations. Later on, when we start looking at uh, discrete time systems, uh, we will model those using uh, difference equations. Um, uh, as a notational shortcut or convenience, in the textbook, he uses the capital letter D to represent um, uh, differentiation with respect to time. So uh, dy dt can be represented not is represented notationally as, as capital D y and then similarly d squared y dt the second derivative of y with respect to time is just d squared y. Um, this allows us to, to represent for example, um, the second order differential equation, dy dt squared plus 3 dy dt, 3 times the first derivative of y, plus 2y is equal to dx dt. Using this capital D notation, we would represent this as d squared y plus 3 times dy plus 2y is equal to, to dx. So d isn't really a, a variable in this equation, although it, it looks like one, and in some cases we'll, we'll treat it like one. Um, for example, uh, later on you'll, you'll see that we can um, treat this like a variable and act actually factor out uh, y. So we're left with d squared plus 3d plus 2 is equal to, to dx. But d is really an operator. Um, one other thing I want to mention is that uh, this kind of multiplication by, by d uh, corresponds to uh, uh, differentiation. 1 over d corresponds to actually integration. So I'll just write that over here. Um, so the integral from minus infinity to t of y of tau with respect to tau. We can represent that integral as 1 over d times y. Okay. So now let's take a look at how we work with uh, electrical systems. And this is all I'm going to talk about. This is um, primarily what we'll focus on in this course. You can, in the textbook, he also uh, talks about coming up with the, the modeling or coming up with the differential equation of various mechanical systems. But we're going to concentrate on uh, electrical systems. And of course, we'll use uh, uh, Kirchhoff's laws uh, to express the, the component um, current voltage relationships. And then in circuits, we'll use uh, um, Kirchhoff's laws to, to derive input output equation. So, so these should all be familiar to you for a resistor with voltage V across the resistor and current I through the resistor. We have the relationship V is equal to I times R. Correspondingly, we could write um, I is equal to V over R. For an inductor with inductance L and voltage V and current I, the corresponding uh, relationship between voltage and current 
is V is equal to L di dt. Or using our, our D notation in, in the textbook, L is V I. And then for for current, we could write that as as an integral. Um, uh, current related to the integral of the voltage. I'm going to simplify my notation here by using uh, this D notation. V divided by D would represent the integral of voltage. And then finally for uh, capacitor, capacitance C, voltage V across the capacitor, current I. Um, uh, it's easiest to write the expression for the current in terms of the voltage first. I is equal to C dV dt. So that the current to a capacitor is proportional to the time rate of change of the voltage across it. And the proportionality constant is, is the capacitance, or using our D notation, we can write that as C dV. And then similarly, for, for the voltage across the capacitor, it's equal to 1 over C times I over D. And then, um, and I'll point out for these current voltage relationships, they all assume this relationship between the current and voltage, that the current is actually flowing into the, the positively marked terminal of the voltage. If the current's actually flowing in the opposite direction, is flowing into the the, the terminal marked with a negative sign, each of these equations would have a corresponding negative sign in front of it. So these are all Ohm's law type relationships. Again, they're, they're positive only when you have um, this direction of current and this corresponding uh, polarity. Now, these uh, relationships, these D domain relationships that the, the textbook um, uses are identical to the S domain relationships you, you learned in, in circuits too. Um, and you may find it much simpler, at least I do, um, to use the S domain or uh, Laplace approach to coming up with the differential equations for the corresponding circuits that we want to look at. And so, again, this is identical to the, the D domain relationships, you know, typically we use uppercase variables here to represent in, in the S domain. And again, we'd have V is equal to IR for the resistor. For the inductor, we term uh, S times L. We introduce the derivative here, this derivative operation with the inductance, and we, we term that the impedance. The voltage is always the impedance times the current. Okay. And then for the capacitor, the impedance of the capacitor is 1 over SC. Voltage V, assume current direction I. And we have the voltage is again the impedance, 1 over SC times I. If you compare these to the relationships on the on the previous whiteboard, you'll see they're they're identical to the relationships we had with uh, S replacing um, uh, D in the, in the various equations.